Hello, everyone. I hope that you're doing well today. Quienes Somos has the pleasure to speak with Hannah Furumoto De He, an athlete from Gatineau that will be representing Canada in the upcoming Pan American Games that will be taking place in Chile this November. Hannah will share with us how she chose karate as her favorite uh, sport, and uh, it will, she will share also a little bit more about all the achievement that she has reached by far and her future achievement that she wishes to achieve in the near future. And this is Hannah's story. Welcome, Hannah, to Kene Somo. Thank you for joining us today. But before you tell us a little bit more about this exciting news that you will be representing Canada and the upcoming Pan American Games in Chile, tell our followers a little bit more about Hannah. Who's Hannah? Thank you, Kenneth, so much for uh, this interview. Um, so my name is Hannah Furumoto De. I do karate and I train full time as an athlete to represent uh, Canada at the Games. Uh, at the moment, I started a master in sports psychology, and I'm uh, yeah, I'm half Japanese, half Canadian, half Japanese. I have both citizenship. So you half Canadian, half Japanese. Yes, my. Who's Japanese? My mom is. Oh, your mom is Japanese. I'm assuming that you have gone to Japan to visit. Yeah, and I've actually uh, lived there for three years. Oh, before you moved to Gatineau, I guess. Uh, I was living here, and then after my bachelor, I went to Japan, to Japan. lived the life. And over there, uh, embr uh, embrace the culture as well, oh, learn Japanese. That's good. What, what, what city is your mom from? Osaka. Oh, Osaka. Oh, yes. wow. I don't know Osaka, but I, I mean, I've never been in Osaka, but I know what, where, where Osaka is, Tokyo, all those places. It was, this is one of the countries that I would love to visit because I love the, the Japanese culture. Um, Hana, the main reason to have you here, you will be representing Kana in the upcoming Pan American game in Chile, right? In November, I believe it is? Yes. Right? Now, wh my first question, Hannah, for you is, uh, you know, the, as far as I know, karate has been, for decades, been dominated by mostly male. Now, in the last few, many years back in, t in time, a lot of girls, female women like yourself, has become karate uh, sport people, like yourself right now. So the question is, why do you choose karate as your favorite sport as opposed to any other sport like soccer, basketball, or something else? Well, uh, I've started karate, actually, it wasn't a choice. My uh, dad uh, kind of forced me to start karate because I was being uh, bullied. And so it was for self-defense, mostly, and also uh, to gain more confidence in myself. And I think it's so important, as you say, like for young girls to know uh, how to defend themselves. And I didn't enjoy it as much at the beginning, but then uh, when I started competing, because I started around five years old, and when I started competing, maybe around more uh, 10, that's where I liked it a lot. And I did other sports as well, but I had a lot of, you know, anger management to, uh, <laughs> to focus on. So I felt like a martial art was best fit for me. So was based on a personal experience that you were, well, you did not choose, like you said, but somehow pushed by your dad to get into karate? Yeah, it was just a one-time event that I got. What happened, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, it was just at a small birthday party of okay. one of my friends, and the parents were also invited. And some little guy decided to... Uh, just bully you. Yeah. And that was the start of my... I guess your dad saw that, and he didn't like the fact that he was bullying you? Yes, because I think he saw, like, I, that I didn't do nothing, and I was only crying, I with see. defenseless. And I think he was scared for me for my future, what it would look like if exactly. he wasn't around. Exactly. Yeah. So at the beginning, I thought that because you are half Japanese, you had gone to Japan, your last name says it all, that you're Japanese when I saw your last name. Uh, I thought that you may have chosen karate because of that, a culture background. Because as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, karate is part of the culture of Japan, right? Definitely. But it's a big, big... Uh, interest in Japan. Yeah. Now, uh, Hannah, you said that um, you have a, ch you told me off camera that you will be going to a world champ karate championship before the Pan American Games? Yes. Where, where, where are you going? I'm going to Hungary. Hungary? Yes. When? 
It's right the week right before. Or right before. So from Hungary, you will be flying to Chile? Directly. You will be to, oh, directly from mm -hmm. Chile. Okay. Uh, well, which lead me to my last question. You have already achieved many goals. You have been in international competition. You told me already you will be going to a world championship in Hungary and you will be also representing Canada in Chile in November in the Pan American Games. As an athlete, have you achieved all these achievements? What are your future achievements or dreams that you would like to achieve as an athlete before you retire as a karate person? So I'm already 27, so I've been in the game for a long, long time. Um, I've had a great career, juniors and senior from uh, after I came back from Japan. It was mostly positive, like this past two years. And um, I think for me, my biggest goal at the moment is to perform to my best in the upcoming events, which are Worlds and Pan Am Games. Like those are the huge events that I want to do my best and I feel like I'm really much prepared physically, mentally, emotionally for this challenge and after that I'll just see what I can do and it, it's going to be, I think I'm still going to be in karate but it's going to be like a transition, how I can help my community, how I can um, empower young girls or even young guys that want to be part of this competition journey so so you have you feel that you have had a positive uh, career in karate since you were you say five you started when you were five so it's been what 22 years and uh, you were telling me off camera that you've been in other big elite uh, international competition have you won gold already yes well in my junior career i went to colombia in 2013 and won the gold in pan, pan american The Pan American Games or the Pan American uh, competition only for karate? The one only for karate. Only for karate. And then in my senior career, which is right now, mm -hmm. um, this year, I've actually managed to be quite constant in, um, at the international level. So I won a third medal, uh, Trans. bronze, sorry, bronze, oh, bronze. Um, in Greece. In Greece. It's oh. a Series A, which is an international event. And other uh, couples. Of and that, I guess, uh, winning has led the, I would say, the karate, Kana karate to choose you to represent Kana in the upcoming Pan American Games, right, in Chile? Um, it's quite complicated because mm -hmm. there's some specific event that gives you the points. So that oh, one was for me in Las Vegas, where there was a specific tournament for the selection of oh, the games. Like a qualifying for yeah. the games, and you did qualify, obviously. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hannah. You were talking about that you know fatigue of camera, that you are ready to kind of retire. And I'm assuming that you will, if you win gold, hopefully you win gold in the Pan American Games and the World Champion. That will be the, I, I would say, the marquee of your career for you to decide to retire and do the transition to become Uh, a community leader using your karate skills to help other girls and guys that may be bullying and perhaps getting into karate so they can achieve and overcome that like you did? I actually really don't know what I want to do. At the moment, I'm just focusing on those tournaments. And yes, and doing my best. Uh, I do feel like I'm more towards the end than the beginning of my career. And it's just For me right now is focus on the games and worlds and after that I'll think about how I, I want to transition slowly uh, into something else more positive for the community. It can be that, it can be something else, I'm not so sure and focus maybe also uh, on my career and uh, I, I'll probably still be competing though because I, I really like it and it's fun it's to... It's hard to retire, eh? <laughs> It is. It It's is. like a kind of routine that becomes part of you, right? Well, Hannah, uh, one thing before I, uh, we, we, we finish this uh, brief interview, the objective was that the Ottawa Gatineau region knew that we have an athlete uh, that will be representing not only our community in the Ottawa Gatineau, but also the whole country. 
if they want to follow your career and the upcoming World Championship and the Pan American Games, how they can follow you? Social media, YouTube, how? Yes, uh, I'm on Instagram. Okay. So uh, it's Hana, H A N A, dash karate. Okay. So uh, that's where it's my personal account. I share. Uh, and it, they can I follow do. all yes. what you have done and what you will be doing, right? Yes, and also my dojo, we have a Facebook group, uh, okay. La Roche Karate. And Instagram as well. Instagram and Facebook, both of them very active and okay. just like those events that are coming up from athletes from here that okay. performs very well internationally. Oh, that's good. Well, Hannah, I have nothing left to say but to wish you the best. The team of Kenes Somos got to know and the whole Canada will be with you in Hungary and in Chile. And we look forward to uh, for you coming back with a gold medal from us. Thank you so event. much. Thank you, everyone. It's, I'm going to keep that in my heart and compete to my best. Well, best of luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you again. Till next time.